Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, how do you do? Welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Now guys, for today, we shall look at how to add, okay, at, at, how to add items uh, dynamically from text boxes to a data grid view at runtime, of course, how to update that particular data, and how to delete uh, that data row by row, and how to clear all the data right there. Guess this is what I'm talking about. If I want to add, let's say that I want to come here, I type uh, my own stuff right here. I click add take note that the data gets added as so well okay I can just add as many data as I want uh, right here what about if I want to edit I can like can come here for instance let's say that I choose this one and then I come and then uh, say something like uh, this way then now if I click update the data gets updated take note of right here or I come right here and say uh, something like this way uh, then uh, I click update the data gets updated very well what about if I want to delete a single row like I come choose this row right here I come it brings me this prompt now if I come I click cancel then it does not get deleted what about I click ok it gets uh, deleted right here okay so you can delete like all of them if you want that way but if I want to clear everything from the uh, list box from the I mean from the data grid view I just call clear and everything gets cleared guys this is what we're going to see welcome we'll get started now guys the first thing please just create your form uh, create your C sharp application go to file new project our uh, windows uh, forms okay C sharp choose C sharp uh, now after that one you shall have your form right there just design your form now mine you can see actually have a data grid view this is a data grid view the gray one I've just put everything inside my panel right here the white panel now I also have the three text boxes I have four buttons add update delete and clear so what we're going to do first uh, one by one just double click uh, these our buttons first we're going to handle the events add update add delete and finally clear so that's it now what we're going to do uh, first and foremost we're going to set the properties for our list for our data grid view okay now the first one uh, we're going to set the properties of our data grid view and add rows we shall do those ones inside our constructor right here so first uh, we're going to start with the column count for the data grid view so data grid view one add dot columns okay in fact uh, column count first we're going to set the column count like for me my data grid view shall have three columns then after that one data grid view one dot columns uh, this one shall give us a collection now we call its add method not really sorry sorry uh, that columns actually this shall give us a collection then we pick the first item in that collection which is the first column for us its name property now for me I'll just give it name uh, that shall be then I uh, just copy paste uh, that one we shall do for the two other columns so I shall have for me like I shall have uh, the name uh, position and the team okay so those shall be my columns we shall, gener I shall generate them uh, with the constructor now after that one what we're going to do uh, I just want that my data grid view I want it like uh, to fill the whole space in my form okay so we're going to set its auto size uh, columns mode so just uh, come here and say a data grid a data grid view one dot auto size columns mode then come and say it data grid one auto size columns mode uh, dot fill so this one shall ensure that when I run the project I shall be able to fill my whole form so that we shall not the user shall not have to be resizing uh, its columns every time he runs the project he shall it shall just fill to take the whole space so the case does it the next thing probably the selection modes we're going to set our selection mode so come and see a data grid view one uh, the first one actually what we want we want that when the user sorry 
selection mode we want that when the user selects a particular row or clicks a particular row we want to select the whole row not just a column so come and say this is selection data grid view one uh, dot selection mode equal to data grid view selection mode we're going to set it to full row select sorry this one should be data grid view uh, selection mode not uh, this one then we're going to set it to full row select so this one shall ensure that uh, when the user clicks a particular cell or row we shall be selecting the whole row not just a single cell now data grid view one uh, dot multi select what i want also i want to limit uh, the selections that the user can make I just want that he let's uh, that he can only select one particular row, not many rows at the same time. This is why we are doing that one is that we shall want to delete row by row. Okay, though actually even if we don't have it, we still possible we can still delete even if we can select uh, row many rows. We shall only be deleting the first row, but I just want to uh, limit him there. No guys, that's it. The next thing we're going to create a method. This shall be. Uh, responsible for adding for us data to our data grid view so come and say private void i'll just call it add now my method shall take uh, three parameters first it's going to take name second it's going to take the position and lastly it's going to take a team these are the parameters that uh, this is our add method shall be taking now adding items dynamically uh, to our data grid view is very simple okay in c sharp now just say data grid view one is just a one line code uh, dot rows then we call the add method then right there uh, we're going to pass uh, what we're going to pass the specific cells okay what we want the specific cells so uh, right here like for our add method we're just going to pass here the name the position and the team it's just that simple uh, that shall add for us rows the uh, uh, items for as each single row okay the row items i mean now that's it the next thing that we're going to do after this one we're just going to clear all our text boxes just to give the user uh, we just want to give the user better uh, visual feedback now once once it's added we just want to clear uh, all the text boxes so that he can see that is just added so I'll just come here and create a method to do that one clear txt uh, private void uh, clear txt now what we're going to do here first a uh, name txt the text we shall set it to blank then after that one we shall do the same to oppose txt we shall also set it to empty then lastly we shall do the same to our team txt we shall set it to empty this does it uh, that's it that's how we add our stuff now the next thing of course is to update now to update uh, our data grid view at runtime is also uh, easy we're going to just say here update dg view we shall create the method to do uh, that one for us private void update and then what we are going to be doing uh, first just come and see data grid view one we are first going to we have to get that particular item that we want to update so call selected rows then we pick the first column actually this is what I was trying to say earlier on like the user if the user can select uh, multiple columns uh, for instance like if, let's say that you wanted to uh, update the second uh, uh, you wanted to update the second selected row not column sorry row you can just pass the integer like if it is the second row that you want to update the second cell selection okay you just pass the integer right there but for me i've restricted my user so that he shall only be able to select uh, one particular row so i've set the multi select to false so uh, that's it i just pass of course it shall just be one row but it is what we are going to uh, pick then for the cells uh this is the first cell we want to update the first cell then it's value what we're going to do we are simply going to set its value now for me for the value uh, that we want to update i'll just set it 
what the user shall type in the name txt so guys this is it this one shall update for us uh, the data grid view with, with what the user shall type right there you do the same just copy and paste that one and have it right there so for the second value actually for the position column uh, we shall also come right here and set the pose txt okay and then for the third column which is our team we shall come right here and set uh, the team txt and that's it guys that's how we update our stuff but obviously also after updating probably uh, we shall just want to clear all our text text boxes so just call clear txt uh, to give the user a better visual feedback that is just uh, updated this stuff now the next thing uh, we come to deleting let's create the method uh, to do that one for us private feed delete uh, and that's it now what we're going to do right here is very simple the first thing that we're going to do remember this is a delete operation so the first thing we have to want the user we're going to display for him a dialog a prompt dialog right here that is just about to delete sorry uh, we're just going to pass here an if else statement now if the message box uh, would show okay the warning uh, we're just going to ask him if he's sure he wants to delete then uh, our caption shall just be delete uh, that shall be the caption then uh, after that one uh, our message box buttons we shall use the ok cancel then uh, for our icon we're going to use the warning icon that's it then we're going to uh, determine what he has selected so dialog result dot ok if he selected ok uh, then we're going to uh, proceed on and delete okay now what we're going to do to delete is very simple first we just have to get the particular index okay remember here it's a matter of uh, deleting uh, the row now we're going to get the index of that particular row that the user wants to delete so come and say that a grid view one okay then dot uh, selected items this one shall give us the row that has been selected then to get its index we just pass the index this one shall give us the index of that particular item once we've gotten the index I will just come and call the remove method remove at method so just come and say that agree with one the truth the remove at then we pass our index right there remember this one we are going to be doing if the user has clicked ok if he's not clicked ok uh, we shall nothing shall happen and guess that's it that's how we delete of course after deleting we shall just want to also once more clear our text boxes and that's it that's how uh, we delete our stuff so of course right there we shall be deleting row by row now what about if we want to uh, okay let's just come and implement this one for the add it was supposed to take three params first uh, name txt the text then uh, pose txt the text and then lastly uh, team txt sorry no, sorry sorry no this one should be team txt the text that's it that one shall add for us when the add button is clicked when the update is clicked we shall just call update it shall do everything right there when the delete is clicked we shall just call uh, delete it shall delete for us a particular row remember that is a single deleting a single row what about if you want to delete everything or clear everything i was just going to call uh, data grid v1 dot rows dot clear this one shall clear for us all the rows in that particular uh data grid view so guys that's it that's it uh this uh, uh now let's just run our program and have a look so right here you can see our project is right here now if i want to add we can just come uh, add my stuff right there the thing gets added okay i've just noticed something that we didn't do please let's just come right here now come to your 
uh, let her grid view right click it then go to the properties section now for the properties section I just uh, look for the mouse click okay we want to set the selected items to the text box so let's just come to the mouse click where is it here let's come and handle this mouse click event now when the user clicks when the user uh, clicks a particular row or uh, selects a particular row we shall just want to set uh, the selected items to their respective text boxes so let's just uh, come right here and just uh, copy no this one name txt in fact we're just going to do the opposite of uh, what we did right here when updating so we're just going to come and set like name txt we set it to data grid one then of course you have to cast it to string so that's it and then uh, this one also uh, we cut it then uh, cast this one to string and then we we'll bring it right here so position txt equal to what the user shall uh, select right there then uh, we do the same to this one this one we cast it to string and then we bring uh, the value right here so this hope you've understood what i'm doing right here what we're doing is simple we are just getting the selected item the cell item that has been selected converted to string then set it to our text box we do the same to the position uh, we do the same also uh, to our of course our team text books and that's it so what we shall ensure is that when we shall be clicking one particular item we shall be setting that particular uh, item to the text boxes guys let's run the project once more and have a look no we still have an error okay right here everything should be fine okay and here is our program so i come right here i start typing my own stuff click add uh, the things you can see it gets added very well uh, dynamically so we just click add and they we add them uh, right there okay yeah and that's it actually my machine is a little bit sluggish what about if i want to update for instance i can come right here type them now in uh, big cups then click update you can see the data gets updated very well okay you just uh, click then update uh, right there so we just update it right here and also update lastly this one what about if you want to delete i just select a single uh, particular row okay like i said that i select this one then i come click then you ask me if i want to delete i click cancel nothing happens i click ok it deletes it from there okay so you can see the thing working fine now if i click clear everything gets cleared guys hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you uh, just follow this guys uh, advice and subscribe to this channel so that you continue to see tutorial like this one on a regular basis you can hit that like button you can share this video with friends and family and also guys uh, just leave a comment down below we'd really like to hear from you guys take care i shall catch you in the next tutorial